Eagle Farm, four minutes of betting time. 460 Northern Crusader now. It's got out just a tad on that earlier quote. With uh, no major changes, Lincoln Road has tightened. Tally Thunder's been pretty well supported. There's a lot of support for this filly, uh, Tally Thunder, with the blinkers back on Damien Oliver. It looks the big threat. It's the favourite on track. Prosecution and Parish Priest are uh, second favourites on course. And then out to Baby-Faced Assassin and our Bull Bar. Leather Lane's been a drifter. And so has Emerald Zeal to a lesser extent. But Tally Thunder, the filly, is the one that they're uh, coming for. Here's uh, Tally Thunder now coming up into the gates for Damien Oliver. Pantani, the next to come along. She's only won the one start, but uh, she's been unlucky on many occasions and uh, sometimes in very good fields too. But Prosecution gets to this distance for the first time. I'm sure that's going to suit him today. Here's Parish Priest coming up into the line. Moe uh, tomorrow, 12.42 the first. Ballarat Wednesday. Set now. Light flashes and they're away in racing and Spuria stood on the gates and missed it by six lengths. Emerald Zeal was one of the first out from getting away quickly. Parish Priest, Leather Lane, some pace from out wider. Radiant Blast, Caraeus and Baby-Faced Assassin are all pressing on. And as they sort themselves out now, it's Leather Lane finding the lead. Radiant Blast goes to second, a length and a half away. Caraeus third, Baby-Faced Assassin moving up on the outside of it, doing some work. Our bull bar's deeper still and will press forward looking for the front, it would appear. Next then, Parish Priest over on the rails being trailed a length and a half further back by NZ1 Emerald Zeal, three quarters away to prosecution. Tally Thunders well back, followed by Spurious and Pantani last in a fast run race. Passing the 1200 hour bull bar goes to the lead. By two lengths, Radiant Blast, similar margin, baby faced assassin third. Leather Lane is back fourth. About four lengths away is Correa's, followed by Parish Priest, and three quarters then do NZ. One and a half uh, to uh, behind these horses is Emerald Zeal, being followed by Prosecution, and then came Tully Thunder to the outside of it as they go to the railway side, and then Spurious and Pantani, who bring up the rear. At the 800 metre mark, and our bull bar led by a length and a half to Radiant Blast and Baby Faced Assassin. Parish Priest getting through on the inside with Emerald Zeal. Uh, taken to the outside, Correa's makes a quick run from Leather Lane, they bunch up here. Pantani starts a run. Tully Thunder's working home fairly, and then Prosecution, who's about third last, but only five lengths from the leader coming around the turn. Spurious and NZ up to the bend, and our bull bar narrowly. Wide out Leather Lane, and Correa's come with a run from Baby Faced Assassin. Parish Priest is handy to them, too, and Tully Thunder out wide is coming home in the straight. Our bull bar down to the 200, but uh, Tully Thunder swept up wide out in his race to the lead. Prosecution trying to go with Tully. Tully Thunder, who led by two lengths. Ollie has the filly under the whip, and she's holding prosecution. Our bull bar at bay, and Tully Thunder came clear. Tully Thunder won it by about three or four lengths on the line to prosecution. Third placing to our bull bar, I'd say, just uh, in front of Emerald Zeal. And then came NZ, who made some late ground, and they were followed then by Parish Priest, Leather Lane, Correus, and next to finish, Pantani from Spurious. Baby-faced assassin dropped right out of it, and Radiant Blast was last in. The filly with the application of the blinkers again. Number five, Tally Thunder, coming from well back and sprinting right away. Scoring a comfortable win in the final event. Prosecution second. And looks like our bull bar. Yep, it's got third, so it's five, four and one. Five, four and one. Fourth home in the final event, number nine, Emerald Zeal. And... Uh,